This is Coach Tabby 26 shoulder bag. Seems like the folks at Coach has been a fan of our content so far, and they were generous and confident enough to send this one in for an independent review. At first glance, it's a very typical embossed pebbled leather on the outside. Very consistent, heavy quality Coach accessories all over. Inside is a micro suede fabric lining and the craftsmanship stitching, everything looks good. It says genuine pebble leather here. We're gonna see what that actually means in a bit. Edge paint seems like it's properly applied enough layers thickness and it didn't smudge it too much. So it seems like a good job. Let's see how strong it is. It doesn't come off with my fingernail attempt. So I will open up using a blade. And even after that, it doesn't come off like a strip of tape. It is nicely bonded to leather, so it tends to break. It seems like it's quite well done. It's going to last a while. Great. The original leather story pieces at some point this every time this is just a point that kind of annoys me uh, when it's not leather but kind of looks like leather and this is again one of those cases such a small piece of material I think if they just choose to use the leather here again I don't know maybe it's just me but this is using plastic here in the story piece, um, just annoys me. Okay, 
out of there. bag came with two dust bags so if you're not using your bag please store it in these dust bags not in a plastic bag especially the separate strap you can put it in its own bag since in some hot climates these edge paints may tend to infuse into the leather making a mark that you may not like see the finish of this leather we know it's a embossed pebble pattern layer coming off let's see how much more so this is the film pigment layer let's see what's underneath coming up so yeah, I can see the grain on this this is a top grain cowhide finished into this pebbled pattern with a pigmented PU or acrylic finish on it for protection and standardization. It's, you know, it's very typical. That's the, the best kind of leather you can use for this finishes. It's top grain. Even if it's moderately lower grade of the grain, with this finish, you get rid of it, you make a very uniform, nice looking leather. The coat says it's genuine pebble leather here. And when I hear genuine, I cringe a little bit. You know, people usually use it for a suede that's covered up a film, looks like grain again. But in this case, we found top grain under the finish. So this is actually a top grain leather. It's, it's much better than that genuine leather that people advertise around. So in my opinion, I think coach probably should say top grain leather, top grain pebble leather here instead of genuine leather. But this is really good. It's, it's a top grain leather finish with an embossed pebble finish. So let's apply some water and mud on one piece. And Let it sit, apply a, another piece with ketchup, okay, and smudge it up a little bit, so let's see what happens. And the other one is why. Some of the contaminants that might be common when you use a bag like this and see how that finish is going to protect the leather or not remember whenever you get your leather dirty you wipe it off using a clean dry cloth a soft fabric or maybe paper that's the first thing to be done if it's too stubborn, you might apply a damp cloth at best, but don't wash it over. Just a damp cloth, wipe it off as much as you can. Don't leave any excess residue and let it dry. And that's all we're doing now. Wine usually may penetrate some of the leather since it's alcohol. It's thinner than water. Seems like it was pretty easy to wipe off the, the contaminants. The mud one has little dust residue left over in the valleys of these pebbles, but I think if you wipe it with a, yeah, if you wipe it with a damp cloth, it comes off. You might get your stitching dirty with this one, but the leather is pretty resistant to this dirt actually. So it's not difficult to clean and doesn't leave a mark. Ketchup is all gone, nothing left. Again, the only thing might be the red mark on your stitches. If, if it's a lighter color thread, that might be something too hard to clean it off. And even the wine didn't make any mark or damage on the finish. 
I see like it's pretty intact. No coloration happened. So that's kind of the benefit of a little heavier finishes. It protects the leather against the contaminants. It makes it easy to clean. It seems like we're looking at uh, six square foot of leather to put a project like this together. My leather est estimate is about $25. It's above medium complexity. There's a lot of work to put this back together because of the backing and support materials. I think accessories are insanely heavy and good, so I think they will take some cost. So my accessory and assembly cost for this bag is about $95. In total, $120 should be enough to put a bag like this together. Given my estimate of $120 to make a bag like this, the price tag of $450 seems very fair to me. I love the leather selection, pebbled cowhide top grain leather. Accessories are insanely good. They're heavy, they feel really high quality, very consistent with my all coach reviews so far. Craftsmanship is very detail oriented. Everything is done right. Support materials, stitching, the edge paint. I couldn't find anything to pick on except the story piece being not leather again. I find this very humorous. I just would like to see the story piece leather coming from Coach. And I think it's a, another very nice value to the leather community here. And I want to thank Coach here for making leather inclusive as being nature's best fabric so most people can enjoy it in its pretty good form. What do we do with all these scraps? The question has come up a lot in the past and we have something special for these tabby pieces in store. We have done some reimagining work with previous deconstructions like the Frankenstein bag here. And starting with this coach tabby bag, we're gonna give them a second life by reimagining some new pieces with these scraps. Stay tuned. We have hit 100,000 subscribers recently and thank you all for your continued support. If you haven't already done so, please go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for a reimagined piece using these tabby pieces. I'm Tanner Leatherstein and here's what I carry in my tabby. I carry my dual personality, the one Tanner that dreams of demystifying leather for people, to cut through the illusion of engineered luxury, and Vulcan, which is who am I to my family. That's what I carry.